Are you sure you know what you're doing? Relax, have I ever let you down before? This is the first time we've met. <laughs> exactly. Uh, why did I pick you? Hey everyone, I'm recording my initial thoughts about new Wapu before I do actual research on it. For some reason I think it might be cultural values to live by or some sort of religion based on Egypt. Let's see how far off I am in the next segment. We're here, the treasure has to be inside. Alright, let's check it out. Well, I wasn't off by much. I'm going to start off by addressing a blog site based on Nuwapu, and it states that Nuwapu is the ancient spiritual science of all melanated people throughout the universe, and is the only science which can place us in our right minds. Okay, I stepped into some heavy stuff here, huh? It existed before the flood of Noah and is therefore the science of the original creative forces. I don't think they are using the word science correctly. Perhaps they mean framework or structure? The word Wu Nuwapu has its roots in the word NWB, blackness. Word? Where Nubia and Nubian find their origins. Wu Nuwapu gets into some advanced mathematics and sciences. It's the key unlocking the spell for only those who approach it with a sincere heart and open mind and controlled emotions. Sorry, but you're not doing a good job at telling me what Nuwapu is. You've established that it's a teaching that predates the Abrahamic religions and Eastern philosophies such as Taoism and Buddhism, and it originated in ancient Tamare. What would have been better is if you've provided text of these teachings and then give a summary of them in this blog of yours. Hopefully those who are Nuwapians take this as constructive advice, because some people may not be as patient as I am. I have an idea what this is, but your blog is still pretty vague. Many whom were reared in religion were bred to be believers. Belief is ignorance. Belief is to ignore the facts intentionally or ignorantly. If one has to believe, one does not know. And if one does not know, that is ignorance. Hence belief is ignorance, and religious beliefs without facts is ignorance. My gosh, this sounds like a low tier anime villain. So demand that anyone attempting to impose their religious beliefs? They are to produce the facts. Practice what you preach. Where are your facts? Throughout this blog you're just asserting things without evidence to back up what you're saying. Instead of trying to bash religion, focus on making Nuwapu less confusing to newcomers. You can read the rest of this blog if you want, but it's more the same. Nuwapu is great and you should join us. Okay, what is it? Well, it's not like those other guys. I shall dig further on the internet. We need light. I wonder if I can start a fire with my powers. You can't. You see, our lightning abilities aren't like normal. Got it! Come on! Let's go check inside! <sighs> okay. For this segment, I'll be talking about the Nuwapian language. There's a B in there instead of a P, so this block site states that Nuwapian is the original word and Nuwapian is the altered version. So out of respect, I'll use Nuwapian. What's amazing is that Dwight York, someone I'll talk about in the next segment, created his own language around this religion, and he wrote a book titled Dr. York, Teacher's Guide to the Nuwapian Language. It is over 300 pages long, and the language has its own characters and symbols along with their English counterpart, so people can learn it. There are lessons which teach you how to pronounce each of the alphabets in this language. Obviously I won't go over this book entirely, because this video isn't about teaching people how to speak another language. I was curious to find out what this language was based on, and I discovered that it's based on Arabic language. The person states that it's the Nuwabian Moors original Arabic language, with help from teachers from Sudan and Egypt. I believe you can call it a pseudo-Egyptian language. Although I don't see myself learning it or associating myself with Nuwapu, I think creating a language is commendable. In the next segment, you'll find out why I do not like Nuwabu, and I'll talk about the creator of the Nuwabian nation. Look over here, it looks like we're going down. This place has been abandoned for centuries, what makes you think that- It works! Come on! You know what? I'm done trying to make sense of this. Now I'm going to talk about the creator of the Nuwabian nation. The creator of this religious movement is named Dwight York, and is also known as Malachi Z. York. He went from creating black Muslim groups in 1967 to this mix of 
Kemetism and UFO religion in the late 1980s. I had to look up what a UFO religion was, but it basically means the existence of UFOs or extraterrestrial beings are an element of your belief. His group started in New York but eventually settled in Georgia. Things took a turn for the worst when the Nuwabians began antagonizing white people with their movement by distributing racially charged leaflets to them and while doing so alienated black people. They were labeled a black supremacist movement at this point and the creator was arrested in 2002 for child molestation and racketeering, including transfer of minors for sexual use. He was sentenced to 135 years in federal prison in 2004. He didn't seem to be a well-attentioned guy, but we're not done yet. Sometime that year, seven police officers from Macon, Georgia resigned from their jobs in protest against Dwight's prosecution. Five of them were hired by the Clark County, Georgia jail as guards. In 2006, they were caught smuggling Nuwabian literature into the jail for the inmates to rebel against the white guards. Four of the guards were fired and the last one resigned. Dwight York is currently incarcerated in maximum security federal prisons in Florence, Colorado. Is this group still around today? Maybe, but if so, their numbers probably aren't that high. I didn't know they existed until this topic was suggested to me. So now, I'm going to give my thoughts on Nuwabians. Obviously, I will never pick up this belief system because it's just like the other religions. They offer teachings from a supposed higher power with no proof of their existence and expect us to blindly follow these teachings. That's not happening. I also can't stand racial supremacy, no matter where it's coming from, so that's a definite no for me. The Nuwabians are not alone in this. You have the Hebrew Israelites who mix racism with their religion. I'm sorry, but I will not take part in spreading hatred onto others. There's too much of that nowadays, especially in this current political climate. We need more love and understanding. The only impressive thing here is that they've created their own language to go with their religion, but I don't see the use of it outside of the religion. That still doesn't take away from that achievement if it is indeed a working language. You can have your eccentric religion, but keep racism out of it. It's off-putting. Anyways, thanks for watching and take care. It looks like someone beat us to it. Seriously? All of this for nothing? Let's get out of this creepy place.